Hey guys, and welcome back to where I think I don't know what's going on. I just entered this place. Are we in a vault right now? We we're following our dad to uh and he just like bailed out on us. I don't know where he is. this okay so we could have just died there I'm crippled who crippled me my god hey dad Okay. Well, you're a douche. Just raid those guys that we killed earlier. You know, because no one cares. Come on, wait up, Dad. You know I have weight problems. Everybody was kung fu fun. Well, that's a weird looking statue. There's no penis. I told you it would work, Madison. Now, I can prove it. You're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifier. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. It was all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. Found a Vault Tech limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, It takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. Your intelligence has been permanently increased. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. We don't have a gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. You know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. Hooray! Good to be working with you again. All right, these guys just appear out of nothing. Is everything all right? Everything we can't right. accomplish anything until we can get inside. But none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. Are you kidding me? I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Be careful. You've got a baseball Hello. bat and a 44 Magnum and you still won't? What a douchebag, man. Okay, uh, oh my god. Err, maggard. Give me a minute. Hold on, guys. Uh, I seem to have stopped time uh, as we know it. No, we don't. We don't need to. Get back. I don't want to have to do this. What kind of dad would send his kid out into this? Oh, he's a master. Alright, well, I'm a Pokemon master. You have to give me a minute. Ermagard. 
Let's take some stim packs. Y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Alright. Who are you? Oh, great. What? Listen, I know who you are, okay? As far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Excuse you. Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally... Now your daddy shows up out of the blue and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Well, you don't gotta be a douchebag about it. Oh, let's God forbid I should be upset that twice now my work has been screwed over by your father. And to make things worse, this time he brings his snot-nosed hey. kid along for the ride. I'm not snot-nosed. The hell do you care? You showed up here, what, five minutes ago, hey. and now you're strutting around like you own the place? You would you be even dead. Be here. Why you... don't you go do whatever it is you're supposed to be doing and leave me alone? I'm supposed to be protecting you. Besides the fact that you shouldn't be here. Hey. Don't touch anything you're not told to. There's enough to do around here without having to clean up after you. You, my friend, are evil. You are Satan yourself. I don't like you. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom link. Right. Head up to the museum. All right. I got this. Hey there. Whoa, hey. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, I thought she wanted the D. All right. Should be just. Now don't worry. This is just get inside and use the manual controls. No, not at all. Now I want. Okay, you won't be able to contact me. Blah blah blah. If this is dangerous, I'm gonna be pissed. It seems dangerous. It's scary in here. Scared. What's going on? Whoa. This, you said this wasn't going to be dangerous. This is very dangerous. Uh, uh. God. This, no. Uh, there are people here. I'm scared. I'm scared, Dad. Oh. Why are you attacking me? Oh. oh my god. Okay, no, get me out of here. Oh, no. Yeah. By the authority of the president, this facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and that turn over me. all materials related to this project. It's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, Get him, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, 
in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. Do mm. whatever you want. No need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project. Choose my friend. Aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. Give me a few moments to bring the system. She was my friend. I grow tired of waiting. It'll only be a few more moments. Uh. Run. Run. Are you really? Did you? Come on. Really? Come on. There we go. Reanimate. Resurrect. Yes. Come on. I know there's a lot going on right now. I just wanted to say. I didn't want you to think I hadn't noticed. Once we're done here, you can tell. Uh, you just okay uh, I'm sorry Dad. I gotta do it I didn't lose karma I had to put him out of his misery he was suffering well, anyways, guys, this is all the time we got for this episode right now. We just had to put him out of his misery, guys. So, for now, I will see you guys in the next episode. Adios.